Hi everyone, welcome back to Next Diecast. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing this 126 scale 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe made by Maisto. I got this model from policecarmodels.com for just over $15. I think it was about $15.49 or something like that. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, this model is a new release from Maisto. They, they had it in their catalog, I think, a couple years in a row, but now it's finally out. They kind of quietly uh, released it, but it should be available, I would assume, on other sites. You can find this on in, on some independent diecast sites, like a policecarmodels.com or diecast model wholesale and whatnot. And I think there are some eBay um, listings for it currently. And as of now, it just comes in this really cool dark red with the silver wheels. I assume Meister will release more colors of this um, as time goes on. So we'll go ahead and get it out of the box here. You can see it's in the current, you know, standard Maisto Special Edition box that they use for all their models now. There's other stuff on the back there, and then you have things on the bottom too. There's the GM sticker. So let's get this SUV out of the box here. Open it up from the side flap. All right, there's the front of the Tahoe. Let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, there's the Tahoe. Pretty dusty. I'll have to clean that up for sure. We'll go ahead and get this off the base. Looks like it's gonna be held down by two screws, so we'll get those off now. Pretty excited for this model, and I assume like a police version will follow. Maybe, we'll have to see about that. Hopefully Welly or somebody makes a police version. the screws looks like we got one strap holding everything shut let's see if we can pull that off i'll have to use some scissors for it all right let's cut this off all right got the strap off and got it unscrewed from the base we'll go ahead and clean it up all right here's a tahoe out of the box looks like an awesome model and of course you have opening doors now on to the review. All right, let's take a closer look at Maisto's 2021 Chevy Tahoe. This is a new release from Maisto. Um, currently it's only available in this red, which is actually a, a pretty cool color. You got the dark metallic red with kind of the silver wheels. This is based off the Chevrolet Tahoe RST trim, as you can see by the RST symbol down there. Um, this trim, I think, is kind of an upper trim for the Tahoe. I think, of course, you have, like, the basic trims, like the LS and the LT and the Premier. I think this is above the Premier, but below the High Country, which is, like, the top of the line Tahoe. Um, the RSTs, I think, go for around maybe, like, 60, 70 grand, depending on how they're, um, optioned out, but... I think this is a pretty good model from uh, Maisto. And yeah, this is 126th as opposed to 124th scale, but it's not, you know, totally... Um, off scale when you put it next to other 124th scale models. I suppose they probably could have done it as 125th, but I think 126 is okay. I know some brands for their SUVs will do, you know, like 127th or even like 128th scale, but this is actually 126th scale. Um, and overall, I think the details are pretty well done for this model. So we'll go ahead and get into the details here. We'll start up here with, with the front. Maestro, I think, did a great job capturing the overall look and shape of the of the current Tahoe, especially up here in the front. With the RST, you do have the blacked out Chevrolet bow tie as opposed to a, a gold one. I think Maestro really replicated that uh, quite well. You have kind of a nice grill in the center here as, as well. It's not perforated, of course, but it sure looks like it because Maestro kind of molds that to look like it's kind of perforated slats. The headlights are also very well done. They're nice and flush with the body. And they're integrated, I think, well with this uh, grill piece here as well. This lower bumper is actually plastic, but it's hard to tell because Maisto really does, I think, match up the paint quite nicely with their plastic and their metal parts on their diecast cars. You can tell it's kind of a slightly rougher finish in, like, direct lighting, but from a distance and from just average lighting, you really can't tell. So I think that's a very nice touch. And then, of course, you have that bow tie symbol in the center there, too, which looks very well done. Then you have kind of the silver trim on there as well. Paint quality on the model, I would say, is fantastic. The metallic red with kind of the blacked out tint and the silver wheels really looks awesome on the Tahoe. And Maestro, I think, really captured that color scheme quite well. This is a metallic finish, too. So in certain lighting, it does really sparkle. 
nicely. And that's just awesome to see that. On the side here, you will see this Tahoe badge done in black printing, which is another feature that you would see on the Tahoe RST. And the wheels are also um, fairly well done. They're kind of a little bit cheap looking. I think the spokes should have some slightly more depth to them. I know on the real RST, you can get these wheels as an option, but they kind of look a little bit different from the Maisto model wheels, as you see here. But I mean, aside from that, they do look fairly well done. I think some more detailing would have been welcome. And for sure, these would actually have the Chevrolet bow tie symbol if, if, if these were the real wheels. But this is a 126 scale model, so you're not going to get like super well done detailing in that sense. But aside from that, the wheels roll very nicely. They are built on solid um, axles. You're not going to get any bowing out or, you know, any defects like that. And, and then also on the side here, you have very sturdy um, side mirrors as well. In the back here, you will see the Chevrolet bow tie symbol along with the Tahoe inscription back here done in black. And then you have the RST badging down on the lower part of the lift gate, as you see here. Uh, and the bumper has kind of a matte finish on it on the top here. And then you have kind of a lower um, plastic bumper down here as well. The taillights are okay. They're the right shape and everything, but Maestro kind of just painted the turn signal indicator and the reverse light kind of just on top of the plastic on the outside. Like if they had, like, I think if they had at least painted it on the inside, just like this, it would look a little bit more convincing, but they kind of just stamped it on on the outside. But I don't think that's really a big deal, especially from a distance, but up close, you really can kind of tell that they just kind of stamped that on there. But Again, it is a 126 scale model, so I don't think that's really a big deal in that sense, but I think some more, I guess, finer detailing for, for these taillights definitely would have been welcome. Um, I think the Tahoe in general looks best from this angle here, and Maestro did at least make this look excellent. I'm not saying that, that the back looks bad, but I think the taillights could have been a little bit um, better done in terms of um, detailing. But aside from that, they are kind of nice and flush with the body. And you don't really see pegs in any of these um, lights anymore that Maisto does. I don't know what this black thing is. I'm sure that's maybe, that might be a peg. I'm not really sure. But at least as far as the headlights go, you don't see pegs. That's just awesome. Now, in terms of, of opening features on, on the model, you're only going to get the opening doors, unfortunately. I wish you had at least gotten the opening hood or the opening um, lift gate. But at least you do have the opening front doors. They open up on kind of these stiff um, hinges, spring-loaded hinges to be more specific here, but they open up at least slightly so you can kind of see on the inside. Door panel detailing is decent. You have kind of a nice texture on there. There definitely should be some more detailing in terms of like how the door handle would be silver and maybe some window buttons along here. They don't put any buttons on here at all, even just kind of like molded into the plastic, but at least they get the overall appearance and shape of, of these door panels correct. I think some slight you know, more fine detailing would have been welcome for sure. But again, 126 scale model. But I think that being said, some more detailing would have been welcome with like with like the door handle or perhaps like the door lock or something. But then on the dashboard, you do get some more detailing. You have a nice texture throughout. All the buttons are very well done and kind of molded in, in the center here. None of the buttons are actually painted on, but at least the knobs and everything are the accurate shapes and in the right placements. A lot of times on these 124 scale budget cars, especially for newer ones, you're not really seeing the finer detailing in terms of the buttons and everything, which is kind of a shame, but at least they're present to begin with. And Maestro does do a decent job with molding in these vents as, as well. And then you do see the glove box down there. On the center screen and gauge cluster, you do actually get stickers. And Maestro was kind of skipping out on putting like screen stickers on their cars for a while, but it looks like they're kind of going back to that, which I'm happy to say. And then you do have the sticker for the gauge cluster as well. You do have some decent detailing on the steering wheel. It does have a different kind of unique texture and you have the kind of nicely done Chevrolet bow tie badge in the center of that. And then you have some steering wheel controls along with kind of the silver trim um, painted on there. So I guess they do make up for the lack of detailing with these buttons with the kind of well detailed um, steering wheel as you'll see here. You do have pedals they are just very hard to see because they're in this kind of all black interior. These seats, I would say, are well done. They have a nice kind of texture to them and they are the right overall shape. I think they're a bit on the small side, but I think that's okay considering that this is a 126 scale model. And then you have that kind of center um, armrest here. You got the two cup holders in the front and the two cup holders in the rear. Speaking of the rear, Maisto does put in the full three rows of seats on this model. It is gonna be kind of hard to see unless you have it in kind of direct lighting. Yeah, because they have the very kind of dark tint. You can kind of see the rear seat back there, but 
You have two captain's chairs in the front, two captain's chairs for the second row, which you can kind of see through this window here. And then you have the full bench seat for the third row. So Maestro decided to go with the kind of seven seat configuration of the Tahoe. I think on the real Tahoe, at least as far as the current one goes, you can get the full bench seat for the second and the third row. I think regardless, you get the third row bench seat, but you can opt for either second row captain's chairs or individual seats or the second row um, bench seat. But Maestro went with the kind of um, split seats or the captain's chairs for the second row, which you can kind of see here. And I think they're properly placed. They're kind of slightly higher up than the front seats, kind of like a stadium seating setup, um, just, just a slight bit. But because of the tint, it's, it, it's, it's just hard to see in general back there. But at least Maestro put the seats back there to begin with. They very well could have cheaped out and had just like really dark tint and had no seats back there and no one probably would, would have noticed. Well, at least for the third row, you wouldn't have noticed, but for the second row, I guess they would have probably still kept that in there. But that's just cool to see that Maestro kind of went with that sort of seating configuration for their Tahoe model. Up here, you do get a full sunroof, which is kind of an expensive option on the real Tahoe and for the RST trims specifically. And what's interesting is you have kind of the tint for these rear windows and for the sunroof, but not so much for the windshield. And, and that would be accurate to the real Tahoe. So that's kind of cool that Maestro did that. I know for pre-production pictures, you kind of saw the all clear windows without any tint, but I'm glad that Maestro went with doing the tint for the rear windows and for the sunroof, which is uh, pretty cool. The doors are kind of hard to close. I don't open them too much just for that reason, so just be careful with that. You don't want to kind of bend the uh, hinges. Overall, I think Maestro did a good job modeling the current generation Tahoe in 126 scale here. I'm sure there will be more kind of larger scale models of this Tahoe as the years go on. But um, as of right now, this is the largest scale model that you can get of the current Tahoe. I'm sure Maestro will be releasing more colors in like the near future and everything. But I think for right now, the red looks fantastic. And I think as long as you find this for under $25, you are getting a pretty good deal in that sense. Um, the policecarmodels.com site, I think, still has a fair bit of these available for $15.49. And in terms of police versions, there are currently no police versions in larger scale of the current Tahoe. But um, I know people have kind of modified this Maestro Tahoe to be kind of like a police version. I'm thinking of I'm um, doing that. I actually have two of these now. So I may end up modeling the other one after like an undercover um, like supervisor unit or something like that. But I think as a whole, Maestro did a pretty good job with this model. If you're a fan of the Tahoe or SUVs in general, I think this will be a good addition to your collection. Hope this video was kind of a helpful look and overview of this model and, and feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.